Ever tried to create glitchy stutter effects, but ended up with something that sounds more like a broken hard drive than a polished production? You're not alone. For a lot of users, setting up a glitch plugin like XRepeater can feel overwhelming at first, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set it up, capture your performances, and create smooth tempo-locked glitch effects that transform your tracks. Hey guys, Joey here, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through setting up and using XRepeater so that you can transform your audio into controlled creative stutter effects. And I even tried to get a drummer to recreate this effect manually, but all I got was a blank stare in 4-4 time. Before we start crafting those smooth, glitchy textures, let's get XRepeater up and running. Installing XRepeater is pretty straightforward. Just follow the installer's on-screen instructions and once complete, open in your DAW of choice. Load it as an insert effect on the track that you want to treat. And if this is your first time using third-party plugins, you might need to refresh your plugin list or plugin cache or direct your DAW to the appropriate plugin folder. Now that we've got it loaded, it's time to get acquainted with the plugin's layout and controls. Each parameter has a purpose from dialing in the timing of your stutters to sculpting their tone and intensity. Before long, that plain loop that you started with will be morphing into focused, controlled glitch effects that feel intentional, not accidental. But before we dive into capturing the performances, let's quickly go over the main sections of XRepeater. On the left, you'll see the pitch shift control, which allows you to adjust the pitch of your stutter effects up and down by as much as a full octave. The center section houses the repeaters, labeled A through E, each repeater has its own stutter timing control, which you can sync to your project's BPM or set manually. You'll use the activate buttons here to trigger each stutter effect. On the right side, we have the effects section where you can add stereo widening, distortion, compression, and even soft clipping to shape your sound further. You can also toggle between the three unique distortion modes, digitized, hardcore, and lo-fi. Finally, at the bottom, there's the balance control, which lets you blend the processed and dry signals for perfect integration into your mix. Now with these controls in mind, let's move on to the performance side of things. One of the first challenges new users face with XRepeater is figuring out how to actually capture and keep their stutter performances. Just clicking the plugin stutter buttons won't record those changes into your DAW's timeline by default. To truly lock in those glitchy effects, you have two main approaches automation and MIDI control. First, we'll talk about automation. In most DAWs, you can enable write or latch automation mode and then trigger the stutter effects while your track is playing. Your DAW will record every move you make on the plugin's interface, like pressing the stutter buttons and play it back perfectly every time. This way, your performance is etched into the track's timeline. If you're not seeing the automation lanes, just open your track's automation view and look for parameters named after X repeater's controls. If automation feels too fiddly, or you're noticing that the timing of your automation data isn't quite accurate in your DAW, consider using a MIDI controller instead. MIDI control is the most precise way to trigger and capture XRepeater's effects, ensuring everything happens exactly on time. Many of XRepeater's parameters, including those stutter triggers, can be mapped to MIDI notes or controls. Once assigned, you can perform the glitches live, just as you would play a keyboard or a drum pad. Record enable your MIDI track, hit record, and each triggered stutter will be locked into the timeline as MIDI data. No manual automation editing required. By taking advantage of one of these two methods, automation or MIDI mapping, you'll stop losing your glitch performances. And if accuracy is your top priority, MIDI mapping is your best bet. It ensures every stutter is triggered right on the beat, giving you ultimate control over your sound and leaving nothing to chance. What about you? How do you usually achieve stutter or glitch effects in your tracks? Share your approach in the comments below and let's compare notes. Now that you've captured your stutter performances, it's time to shape the sound. XRepeater gives you two powerful tools to take your glitch effects to the next level, pitch shifting and distortion. Let's start with pitch shifting. The pitch control lets you adjust each stutter fragment up or down by as much as 12 semitones. Dropping the pitch creates a darker, heavier texture, perfect for dramatic breakdowns or intros. On the other hand, pitching up adds a sense of brightness and urgency, which works great for energetic buildups or playful transitions. Next, let's add some distortion for extra character. XRepeater offers three distinct distortion modes, digitized, hardcore, and lo-fi. Each one adds a unique texture to your stutter effects. Digitized gives you a harsh, low bitrate sound reminiscent of old school digital artifacts. Hardcore is great for aggressive, hard clipping distortion that cuts through a dense mix. And lo-fi adds a warm, nostalgic vibe, perfect for creating vintage style glitches. One of the 
best things about combining pitch shifting and distortion is the endless creative potential. For example, try pitching a vocal stutter down by 12 semitones and layering it with a hardcore distortion mode for an otherworldly mechanical effect. Or pitch up a synth stutter and add lo-fi distortion to create a dreamy retro vibe. The key is experimenting until you find the right combination for your mix. To make your glitch effects even more dynamic, Xrepeater includes tools to add movement and variation, the auto pan feature and the randomizer button. First, we'll talk about auto pan. This control spreads your stutter effects across the stereo field, creating a ping pong like movement that adds depth and space to your mix. By syncing to the project's BPM, the auto pan effect moves in perfect rhythm with your track. Turn up the auto pan knob for wider, more dramatic movement or dial it back for subtle stereo enhancement. This feature works especially well on percussion and synth lines, making them feel alive and engaging. Now for the randomizer button. If you're feeling stuck or you want to try something unexpected, this is your secret weapon. The randomizer automatically adjusts multiple parameters like stutter timing, pitch, and distortion, creating unpredictable results with just one click. It's perfect for discovering new textures or breaking out of a creative rut. Here's a pro tip, use the randomizer to generate an idea, then tweak the settings manually to fine tune it. This way you can strike a balance between creative spontaneity and control. Whether you're adding stereo width with auto pan or experimenting with a randomizer, these tools make it easy to inject movement and variation into your stutter effects. By now you've learned how to set up and capture your stutter performances in X repeater, shape your effects with pitch and distortion, and add movement and variation using auto pan and the randomizer. Whether you're crafting subtle rhythmic stutters or dramatic in your face glitch effects, this plugin gives you the tools to unlock creative possibilities with ease. Remember, the key to mastering X repeater is experimenting with its controls to find the perfect balance for your mix. What's your favorite way to use glitch effects in your productions? Let us know in the comments below, we'd love to hear your ideas. Now, if you're ready to take your productions to the next level with professional-grade glitch effects, make sure to check out X Repeater by Joey Sturgis Tones. With built-in pitch shifting, distortion, and precision timing, it's the ultimate tool for creating bold, attention-grabbing textures. Download your free 14-day trial today at joeysturgistones.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check the links in the description below and tap that bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Until next time, happy mixing.